guys, welcome back to the channel. Vegan Mommy D here. So thanks for coming back to the channel and this week's video is going to be all about fall comforting foods again since we're in the fall season. And I'm going to be doing a acorn squash that is baked in the oven. I'm going to do some wild rice and I'm also going to do a lentil mixture that I have. Um, it has like split peas in it as well. It's really tasty. So this to me is a cozy and comforting type of meal. And that's what I wanted to focus on for today's video because that's what I'm all about lately is the comforting warm fall meals and enjoying this season fully. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for being here. So this week's video is going to be a fall themed meal. I have acorn squash. Um, it was on sale at the store and it looked fantastic so I picked some up and I'm just going to be roasting it in the oven at a 400 degree oven and I did use the convection bake option but if you don't have that option not a big deal just cook it a little bit longer in a regular setting on the oven. So as you can see I just cut them in half. I'm going to take the seeds out and then you can roast them if you want to or just put it in the organic waste bin completely up to you and I put it in a baking dish whatever you have a large one small one you can do two small ones whatever you have it will work if you have a lid that would be perfect I don't for the baking dish that I'll be using so I will be covering it with some aluminum foil I don't prefer to use it but you know what if that's all I have then um, I do want to roast it in the oven so I'm going to have to cover it up so that it bakes really nicely so I go ahead and bake it for 30 minutes and then I go and add the pumpkin spice and the pure maple syrup on top because I do like it to be a little bit soft and then the I feel like the pumpkin spice actually sticks to it better versus putting it right now before you know it actually bakes at all. So but you do whatever you want to if you want to add the stuff in now go ahead you can season it up now I just cook it for 30 minutes first. This is the wild rice that I'll be making on the side. I do like to make it so that I have some leftover for work. It's super healthy and delicious, so I'm going to make some of that in the Instant Pot. So I'm just going to be using the Instant Pot's rice setting, so that's super easy to use. And then I'm just pouring in the water and some garlic powder and a little bit of the veggie bouillon. Just make sure that it's oil free. I think you can find oil-free ones even at the bulk stores. It's pretty easy to find. Or you can use just veggie broth that doesn't have any added oil in and just replace some of the water with broth. That's it. So I'm going to be making some lentils on the side and this mix has like green split peas and yellow split peas in it. It's really, really tasty. It's actually meant for soup and I do use it in soup sometimes, but I do like to make it as a side dish. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Just one cup of lentils and I did rinse them a little bit previously so that there's no, you know, sand or dirt because sometimes lentils can be dirty. So now you're just adding some water in and whatever seasonings you have on hand. So I'll be adding garlic powder and some paprika to mine, but you add whatever your favorite herbs or spices are and it will work perfectly. So I'm just cooking it on a medium to low heat and letting the water absorb and then the lentils will be ready. Now I've hit the 30 minute mark, so I just uncovered the squash and I'm just adding some of the pumpkin spice and then I'm gonna drizzle over some of the pure maple syrup. And that's it, just those two simple ingredients. If you wanted to, you could go ahead and add some butter, um, but I'm not going to add any because that's going to hike up the calorie content on this meal. And I don't, I don't feel like it needs it, I really don't. You will not miss the difference, like this tastes perfectly. Um, delicious just the way it is and you don't need all that extra oil or any butter added to it it's just not necessary So 
So this is how the rice turned out. I'm just fluffing it up with a fork and then I'll transfer it to a dish. And here are the lentils. They just look perfect and the water has absorbed. I'm going to take it off the heat and they are ready to be served. This is it. They are fully cooked and I just slice them up and have some lentils on the side and sometimes some of the rice. I really like the rice combo with the squash. And then just have whatever veggies you have in the fridge on hand, raw veggies, you could do a salad, whatever you have they need to use up, just eat some veggies along with this meal and it would be a perfectly balanced and healthy meal. I love how simple and easy this recipe is. It's super filling and it just has all the fall vibes that I'm enjoying currently. So you know I had to do a warm and comforting drink along with my yummy cozy meal. So I'm just doing a pumpkin chai tea that is made with very few ingredients but tastes so amazing. So there's two cups of water in my pot and I'm just putting two to three tea bags of my chai tea. I ended up putting three in because I felt like it needed to be a little bit stronger but you can put whatever you prefer in if you don't like it that strong. And then I just added my two tablespoons of pure pumpkin puree and I'm drizzling a little bit of pure maple syrup in for some extra sweetness. Let's give it a little whisk. So then I'm just throwing in one cup of dairy-free milk. I do use uh, soy milk that's organic or a rice milk sometimes, depends on what I have. They all turn out great though. And then just throw in some extra organic cinnamon in for extra flavor. So a total optional addition to this drink would be some of the vegan Cool Whip or whipped cream, whatever you have on hand. Um, that would jazz it up and just make it a little bit more festive and fancy and then sprinkle some cinnamon on top, but I'm not going to be doing that today. I'm just adding the cinnamon in and enjoying it just the way it is and it will taste amazing. Let me know if you tried this drink at home and let me know if you enjoyed it. again for watching everyone and thanks to all the new subscribers welcome to the channel and i'll see you guys next week stay healthy everyone